I'm Edward Kolodny. I'm a uh, now retired professor uh, of, from the Department of Neurology at New York University uh, School of Medicine uh, with the austere title of Professor Emeritus. But uh, I've been interested in inherited diseases of the nervous system for many, many years, starting with work uh, in the early, uh, late 1960s on Tay-Sachs disease. Uh, and that has led me into a uh, whole world of, uh, of genetics involving the nervous system. And believe me, many, many people have many different disorders now that uh, we're beginning to appreciate and recognize, appreciate, and understand. The uh, patients with APBD often present, uh, very often, with a urinary incontinence as an early sign. Um, they also, uh, uh, the males will present with uh, impotence as well. Um, and uh, peripheral neuropathy, uh, loss of sensation and loss of motor control of muscles in the leg are another common symptom. So to neurologists, I would say patients in uh, middle age, middle age, 30s, 40s, who present with these signs should be in the differential diagnosis, they should consider APBD.